Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18845 for Windows insiders using the skip ahead option. So this is a 20H1 build. And if you remember, 20H1 are, is scheduled for release in the first half of 2020, next year. And the reason we're getting these builds early is Microsoft say they need more time to test uh, there's some of the features so normally we get sort of six month development and six month testing and uh, this is going to be out next year 19h2 will be out in the second half of 2019 and 19h1 is the build that's currently or the project that's currently in development and will release pretty soon so this is a next year build so despite it being next year build there isn't actually a lot of new features and i think that's because a lot of the changes are going on under the covers and um not something that you're going to see immediately show up but there are oh there is a new feature and uh, quite a few fixes so the new features in this are support for the uh, emoji 12 standard not really into using emojis an awful lot but you i can show you them here if you press the windows key and the period button there we go we get the new emoji picker and this supports version 12 of the emojis and you can start typing and it'll bring them up i mean yeah there you go you can you, you get the idea so there's your emojis the rest of the changes are just minor fixes so they've um actually these fixes as well match very much to the uh, 19h1 build that was released this week but they fixed the issues of cords bluetooth hands-free audio driver to hang they fixed some issues with the feedback hub start menu uh, reliability they've improved they've fixed an issue with Microsoft Edge crashing on launch um, they fixed an issue with the clipboard the cloud clipboard the Windows V version of the cloud clipboard um, they fixed some issues with family safety and narrator there's still known issues in it uh, be the main one being that if you're using anti-cheat software it may trigger a system crash a green screen of death um, that one is a, a, still an issue on the 19H1 builds as well. There's still an issue with some nightlight readability in, and there's issues with color management. Resetting PC needs an extra reboot. Realtek SD card readers not functioning correctly. In Windows Sandbox, uh, going into Narrator will cause it to crash. And Creative X5 sound cards are not functioning properly. So these are all common to the 19H1 builds as well. So that's all the changes that are in here. Um, I'd like to say, and I could show you some more new features, they're going to come over time. But for now, that's the uh, 20H1 build uh, 18845. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com on our YouTube channel. Uh, and I'm on Twitter, at Dixon. Thanks for watching this video.